slash young reporter competition. Hello, it's five o'clock. I'm Victoria Derbyshire. Welcome to BBC News. Here are your headlines. Ukraine declares a state of emergency and calls up reservists to join the regular army in response to what it calls increased Russian aggression. And it gives this warning at the UN. This is an escalating threat to our collective global security and to our freedom. Ukraine expects decisive, immediate and proportional actions by the international community. President Putin tells his armed forces the security of Russia is non-negotiable, but claimed he's still open to diplomacy. Here, the government faces more criticism for not going far enough with its financial sanctions against Russian billionaires and banks. It is absolutely vital that after this first barrage, uh, we work in lockstep with friends and allies around the world, and we squeeze him simultaneously. In other news, severe flood warnings remain in place across England following high rainfall from Storm Franklin. The grieving mums fighting for the truth about why their babies died in one of the biggest maternity care scandals in NHS history. And a children's charity accuses Facebook of neglect as a BBC News investigation shows children are at risk of grooming and sexual abuse in the world of virtual reality. Good evening. The Ukrainian government says it will declare a 30-day state of emergency and has urged any of its nationals living in Russia to leave immediately as it braces itself for an invasion. In Moscow, the Russian president, President Putin, has warned that his country's interests and security are, in his words, non-negotiable. Meanwhile, the EU has formally agreed its package of sanctions against Russia. Here, Boris Johnson says, even more sanctions are coming if Russia continues to threaten Ukraine and confirmed that the UK will be providing more military support to Ukraine. It follows President Putin's recognition of two areas in eastern Ukraine, the so-called People's Republics of Donetsk and Luhansk, as independent. The shaded areas have been controlled by Russian-backed fighters since 2014. Mr Putin said he would be sending in troops as, in his words, peacekeepers. At the United Nations this afternoon, the Secretary General, Antonio Guterres, said the world was facing a moment of peril. And Ukraine's foreign minister called for swift, concrete and resolute action. Have a listen. We are currently at the middle of the...